Sweetheart, uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a moment alone with Sandra before sure. everyone else gets here. Sure. Why don't you uh, go out on the table? Thank you. Well, I'm all for being civilized. Oh, Gordon, wait, but... please. Look, it's not at all what you two think, all right? Just trust him. He needs to be alone with her for a minute. Well, what's going on? Who knows, Kevin? Kevin, do me a favor, please. I'd like you and Cord and Tina to go in the library and wait. Please, Tina, just go. Thank you. I guess we should just do what she says. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find out soon. Hi, darling. We came as soon as we could. Thank you. Thank you. I know you all uh, want me to tell you what's what's wrong. I, I can't say anything yet, though. I, I'm just very grateful you came, all of yes. Oh. I'm sorry for being so mysterious about this, okay? Uh, Clint wants to tell everybody when, when the whole family's here. Okay, let's uh, let's go inside. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, guys, how you doing? Maybe we can get to the bottom of this thing now, huh? Uh, for starters, I wish somebody would tell me what Dad's doing out on the terrace with that woman. That woman's name is Sandra, and you'll all find out soon enough who she is. Excuse me. We rushed right I don't over. Think they're rushed is the word. I almost pulled them over until I realized we were all headed in the same direction. We didn't keep everybody waiting, did we? No, you're right on time, Jake. Thanks. Thanks for coming, Mike. Sure, Becky. Thank you. Oh, Megan. I need you so much now. We're here. What's going on? I'm I'm sorry. I can't tell you now. Clint wants to tell everybody all together. Let's go inside. When Dr. Wolake arrives, would you please show him in? Sweetheart, everyone is here except Larry. If you're ready. What do you think? I think you already know the answer. We're ready. by your faces that you're all expecting the worst. Well, to be honest, Clint, I don't think any of us know what to think. Well, no, sweetheart, please. That, that's all right. I think probably the best way for me to explain this is to, is to introduce you to someone who is very special to me. Sandra? I'd like you all to meet... Uh, Dr. Sandra Hall. Doctor. Sandra's a psychologist. And yes, she's also a published poet, in case any of you are, are wondering about that. But it's been uh, Sandra's gifted and professional counseling that I've needed this past month. I only hope that she'll be able to help each of you as much as she's helped me. Bo, Cord, Tina, I owe the three of you an apology for causing you to worry so much about these broken appointments and lies and half-truths that you caught me in. I, I can only hope and pray that you will understand and that you will uh, forgive me. Yeah, well, of course we can, but still, Renee, I don't know what's going on. I'd like to thank you, Renee, for keeping Asa at home today. I don't have to guess at how hard it was to avoid all these questions. Well, darling, I'm sure that if he was here, he would have a million questions. Well, I think that very soon all those questions will will have answers. Cool. 
Cord and Kevin. I want to thank you for all the care you've given me lately. What kind of care? No, no. Thinking around, spying on you? I know that you did that out of love and concern for... for Vicky and for me. I know that, Gord. I know that. And Kevin... You already know how proud I am of you. You have become quite a man this year. A man that, uh, as time goes on, I know will be the the man of the family, anyway. A man that Vicky and your brother and sister can count on. Oh, Larry, come on in, please uh, join us. Sorry, I'm late. No, that's all right. That's all right. Well, now that the doctor is here, I, I guess I can begin. Or, since I've been doing nothing but talking this past few minutes, I guess I can, I should say, now I can finish. I, um, I want you to know, I think you need to know, I'm sorry, you know, I've practiced this about a thousand times, and now that the moment is here, I... Uh, Would you like me to start? Please. Uh, Clint and I have been meeting several times for a while now to help him deal with a sudden and unexpected and devastating crisis in his life. Um, I've tried to do what I can to ease the situation, but it's never easy, especially for someone like Clint, who is blessed with so much. Blessed. Thank you, Sandra. That's, that's right, I am blessed. I'm fine now. I never doubted it. What Sandra was trying to say is that she's been helping me get ready to die. Here, but damn it, I'm not going to sit around here just wringing my hands. Come on. No, Give no, Ray. a chance. Give I want answers. We've got the family doctor standing over here. What's the story, Larry? Huh? What's my brother have? Was it cancer? Okay, fine. We've got an excellent chance of curing cancer these days. So we get the best doctors in the world. We'll fly them in here. Yeah, both right. Come on, you tell us what we can do, and we'll do it. Wait, please. Let Larry explain. Look, I'm just a shock. Can I talk to you for a minute, Clint? Look, are you sure you want me to tell them everything? I promised to Vicky that we would share the good and the bad. Larry, he's been carrying this alone for so long, and now he's not alone anymore. We want to help him as a family. Clint has told me how lucky he is, and now I know why. 